you already know I got the shades on for a reason, multiple reasons today. But you know, welcome back to the No Cut Sports Podcast with your host, Nile Frazier. And I got the stunner shades on, like I said, for multiple reasons today. But the number one reason why I got these shades on, you already see the green. But somebody lost yesterday. Somebody lost yesterday in the NFC East. <laughs> somebody lost. Mm, mm, mm. You know, and we already knew this. Well, at least I knew this day was coming. I knew this day was coming. We all take those. But the way they was talking, spicy. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all played two. You, you played the. You played the New York teams. I ain't even got to. I ain't even got to see who they are. But y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, listen, I'm sitting here, just listen, I'm sitting here watching the game yesterday, right? Trying to figure out what game I was going to watch. So I'm going back and forth between the games. And um, I see the Dallas Cowboys is playing. I'm like, you know what, let me tune in, you know, cause I need to know what the, you know, I need to know what the opponent is doing as well. You feel me? So tuned in. I see, I see Dobbs is the quarterback. I said, okay, now. I've seen Josh Dobbs. I remember when he played for the Steelers. I remember when he played for the Browns. And I thought he did well. And suppo- I ain't going to say supposedly. He is supposedly like a rocket science. You know, he's he's a smart man. So, I mean, I think my man is more than capable of uh, breaking down some defense. And that's exactly what he did to uh, to Dallas yesterday. He broke the Cowboys defense down so bad, bro. So bad. And it was so crazy because, like, like I said, I'm sitting there watching that game. And it might have been a few plays in. When they, they started running the ball, and I'm, and I'm seeing they getting gains. I'm like, oh, yeah. Went right to FanDuel. <laughs> Went right to FanDuel. 15 on it. Because I ain't crazy. I'm a smart man. Cause you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> it, could go, it could go your way. It might not go your way. You feel me? So, yeah, man. But, man. Came up on a little something nice. Got me a little Chick fil A on the girls. You feel me? <laughs> Listen, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's a beautiful day. Eagles play today too. This is our chance to be, you know, for real, for real on top. Like everybody lost in the NFC East besides us, at least right now. So hopefully we go out here, we get, we take care of business. But it ain't looking good for Dallas. And like I said before, they brought Trey Lance in to put some pressure on deck. All I was watching yesterday, and this somebody was trying to argue with me on, uh, cause I be posting on my, you know, my social media and all that. And somebody was trying to argue with me on. Uh, one of the socials, and they were sitting there saying, yo, I was worried about Dallas. Well, I mean, we got to be worried about y'all, man. This is NFL, man. And y'all in our division. And y'all talk the most. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talk the most, but do the least. It's, it's the craziest thing. I don't, I don't understand every year, same thing. So, you know, but, yeah, man, somebody on here talking about Dax, this, blase, blah, and I'm like, bro, your defense is getting it done. And your defense is getting it done against subpar teams, super subpar teams. The Giants, bro, and the Jets. Come on, bro. Come on, man. A bunch of high schools look fantastic against them. Like, I'm trying to tell you, man. What, like, what are we talking about here? Man? Come on. Speak for real. So, they just, they, 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 it, it, it's just the same thing every year. Oh, we going to do this. We going to do that. And blah, blah. And blah, blah. And then y'all lose to the Cardinals. <laughs> What? <laughs> Boy, I tell you. I tell you. I know it's hard being a Dallas fan, bro. Gotta be hard for y'all, man, because it's crazy. But I ain't going, this ain't, I'm not going to get too crazy. Just know. That's one interception from that. If y'all go back into my first, like, my first video, I said probably 10 interceptions before December. Unless they pull that man, they put Trey Lance in there. And, I mean, it might come to that because, you know, Jerry want to see a Super Bowl before he croaks. So, you know what I mean? I don't want to say crook. That's, that's my stuff. But before he passes on to, you know, whatever life he go to. So, you understand? But, man, man, he just couldn't get it done. Dag threw an interception to, 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 to ex-Eagle. We still, we still getting it done, even if we ain't playing for the team. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Kaiser White. You know what I'm saying? I know you're going to get that bag, my boy. But you're still getting it done for us, man. This is just... I just want Dallas fans just to admit it. Like, bro, Dak is trash. 
only going for 10 yards. I'm like, bro, he's not even trying to attempt bombs. Like, you got C.D. Lamb, you got Cooks out there. Like, come on, man. You could be doing way better than that, but this is what you get. You know what I mean? Like, Y'all about to sign that, man? Man, you look, just look. If they lose, to the, if they're losing to the Cardinals, who you think they, their schedule's about to get crazy, man? And we gonna see, man. We gonna see. So, but let's focus on more about what we need to talk about. Um, as you know, Philadelphia Eagles play tonight. It's a doubleheader. Pause. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Folks are getting to me, man. But yeah, man. Um, only thing we're really worried about is the Eagles. I kind of am worried about the Rams because I got some players on my fantasy. Um, they play tonight. Uh, yeah, man. So I'm gonna be probably I'm gonna be more concentrated on the, uh, the Eagles game, of course. But I would be going back and forth probably. So I don't know why they put these games on at the same time. NFL, if y'all listening, y'all gonna do it like that. Y'all might as well just put one game today, one game tomorrow. I don't know, but I don't know how that work. But hey. Whatever that I ain't, I'm not. That's not my thing. But I'm just sitting there saying two games on at one time. How I can't watch two things at once, man. Like, come on. So, but yeah, man. So we're gonna talk about the Eagles, man. I'm gonna roll right into it. Um, probably should talk about the Phillies first, though. Thanks. Let me hold up. Let's talk about the Phillies. Let's rewind that. Let's talk about the Phillies, okay? So we are one game away from clinching the wild card. We are one game away from glitching the wild card, baby. And I said it in that too, man. It's been two months. It's been two months for No Cut Sports Podcast. So I appreciate all the views, all my followers, especially my family. They didn't text me over the weekend. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. You already know, man. I put on for my I put on for the family. You feel me? So but they text me over the weekend. They, they've been watching the podcast. I appreciate the views. They told me y'all need to watch the podcast, too. Shout out to my cousin Keith. That's my boy. That's my boy. So, I'm like, yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, man, the Phillies, we one game away from clinching the wild card uh, tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we get that done. Excuse me. I don't even know who we play. I think it's the Pirates. But, um, yeah, man, we're going to see. We're going to see. I think we're going to get it done, man. They brought up uh, the pitcher, Kirk Kirkland. I can't, I can't even say my man's name, but yeah, yeah, he up to something for sure. So hopefully that bullpen hold tight, and um, you know, postseason we get it done. I'm hoping the Braves, I'm hoping the Braves choke, I'm hoping the Braves choke like they did last year, man. So um, we gonna see, man, we gonna see. So um, Phillies play tomorrow. Um, I think I said I think it's the Pirates. You already know I'm gonna be tuned in. Um, glued in my seat, man. So. I'm trying to see red, and for real. Like, I'm trying to see red, and I definitely think we got the team to do it. Um, the players, the hitters, hopefully Hoskins comes back, man. Yo, I'm trying. <sighs> Hoskins come back, and I don't know how that works. Like, I guess the I don't know if the order stay the same because I like Pache and I like uh, Rojas and all them other guys in the order, but yeah, man. So, um, hopefully he get to come back for this postseason, man. Um, I know he gonna be super duper rusty, but um. Listen, man, we'll take it. I'm taking it, man. Like he had 30, he had 30 joints uh, last year, 30 home runs. So, um, you know, we had to replace them Jones, of course, but we can do it, man. We can do it. We can keep it rolling, man. We can do it, and we're doing it too, man. We're rolling right into the postseason. We winning games and all that. So, just like I said, but the pitching is the biggest thing. Pitching, phew, super iffy sometimes. I hope Nola can, you know, hang in there, cause he be. <laughs> He got the talent, man, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Same thing with Michael Lorenz, man. Mike is, uh, he even said, he going to figure it out, and we going to need you to figure it out soon, my brother. Super duper soon, because the postseason's around the block. Now, around the corner. Around the block, so. It's coming. And these teams, they coming to win, bro. And I'm looking at the Rangers, bro. Oh, boy. It's going. Listen, that's going to be crazy. So depending on who, you know what I'm saying, who get who get who get out of what, but hopefully it's the Phillies. Hopefully we can advance back to the World Series and play whoever we got to play. But if we play in the Rangers, I'm talking about a game every night, bro. It's no error. It can be no. It can be no nothing. It can be no mess ups, bro. Honestly, it can be nothing, bro. Nothing can happen. Everything got to go right. 
everything, bro. Cause they came to play. Um, they're coming to play if they're if if we match up with them. So I'm gonna, well, we're not gonna look too far into the future. We're gonna you know keep it p with the fills. Let's see if they get it done tomorrow night. Going to the wild card, and then you gonna get another video from me. So, um, but yeah, man. Also gonna talk about <sighs> my buffs, man. He took a loss, but I still got the shades on. I still got the watch on, cause my thing is, and I'm seeing people, and, and I said it, I said it in my last video. We ain't gonna address the hate, but you know, if you would it, you would. If you not, you not. That's all that is, man. So. <laughs> We just gonna keep it like that. But shout out to Dion. Like he said, you better get him now. Cause he already talked about the transfer reporter about and about how many people or, or how many kids are trying to go to Colorado. So he gonna have his pickings. And they can sit there and get you get it off. Like he said, get your get, get your get your stuff off right now, man. Cause this next year is gonna be a different story, man. And the years to come is gonna be a different story. These kids want to play for Dion. I promise you. I don't even play football, but I want to play for Dion, okay? So, hate it if you want, but it's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so, we're going to keep it rolling, man. So, let's get into what we need to get into. Man, listen, Big Bird Gang, baby. Big Bird Gang tonight. Tampa Bay, we play. Um, Drew, God, like he a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. He said, week three, he been saying it. Week three, week three. All right, whatever, man. So, <laughs> so listen, man. Eagles play Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight, man. I think we get the dub, go 3-0. and oh. um, I don't know what the weather supposed to be like, but hopefully that don't affect nothing because if you've ever been to Florida, Florida got the most iffiest weather I've ever seen in my life, man. So, uh, yeah, I hope they – I hope I hope the uh, – and I seen something where they were saying Gainwell was coming back from that rib injury. I'm hoping that they still run with Swift because they keep talking about this hot hand BS. I don't care nothing about no hot hand. We know who the hot hand was. Gainwell had a game to show what, we, what he had, and he did what he had to do. But we clearly know DeAndre Swift was a different animal and a beast. Okay? I'm trying to – well, I ain't. I don't got to tell y'all. And my uncle told me to stop saying that. So my fault. You seen him with your own two eyes if you watched the last game. DeAndre, DeAndre Swift is swift on his feet, okay? I'm trying to tell you, man, and I said it again. Sorry, but it is what it is. So, yeah, he, 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 we, 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 we keep working that, working him into the office, man. I'm trying. Okay, I see what he's saying. <laughs> anyway, we work him into the office, man. Just like how we watched, well, if you didn't watch it, but I watched it. And um, the Dolphins, their offense this past weekend. But the Philadelphia Eagles could do possibly the same thing. I really do feel like if we can call better plays, um, I know Brian Johnson still trying to get accustomed to uh, calling plays and, and implementing the players that he needs to implement into the offense. And same thing with Sean Desai, because I don't even see Nolan Smith and, and some of these other players. And I'm like, maybe we should try and you know, mix them into these games. Where, and I can't really say that these games aren't. Cause he beats because these games been so close that we really ain't had a game to be like oh we could take a game off or we've been so far ahead that we can put the put the younger guys in and see what they do but um i would like to see more of them younger guys today man because um i feel like um well not that i feel but the defense for um tampa bay like they're missing devon way i think his name is devon way that's one of their stars on the uh on the team on the defense so I really don't see them doing too much. I know that I know their defensive line though. The Hawaiian, I think he's a wine. I can't think of the bull's name, but I play mad and Vera Vaja or something like that. He's a, he's a who yeah man. I did a little power, a little power. What, what is it when you when you thrust off the line, Paul? Yeah, bro. He go he go right through. He go right through the line. So if he playing tonight, he might be a problem. Um, but I think our O line still cool. Um, you know. Some older guys on the O line, but I think they take care of it tonight. We had some time to take care of ourselves, get ourselves together, you know, get back to the treatment room and get you know all that good stuff done. So um, we just gonna see what they do tonight, man. But I really do think, and I said it in my last video, the passing should open up if that run game get to going because you gotta defend. Like I said, you have to take an element away, and you can't. Everything has a weakness. Whatever defense they want to play, you know, they want to stop the pass, all right, cool, we're going to run it. You want to stop the run, all right, we're going to pass it. And then from there, you just, Jalen Hurts' job is just 
what they finna do. Oh, I'm about to pick them apart. Simple and plain, man. And it's easier said than done when you got four, five, six, five, three, thirty pound people running there. It's a little different story, but man, yeah, so um, I think I think I think we go three and up, man. <laughs> I think we go three and up. If you asking me, I think we go three and up. So um, yeah, man. Um, I don't know if I probably make a video. I want to say maybe probably not the day after the game, but maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, probably tomorrow. Seeing, seeing, seeing how excited I am after the game. Cause if they do something crazy tonight, I might hop back on here and be like, da 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 da, you know. So, but um, I just hope that uh, I just hope that I just uh, and I said it before. Me and my cousin was just talking about it. Like, this is week was week three, so week four to like the night tomorrow. Not to, I mean tonight and um the following week. I want to see like uh. I want to see this offense, man, because the defense been stepping up. Like, I got the uh, – oh, I didn't start. I'm going to start a Kansas City D in my fantasy. But the defense should – bro, the defense should just should swallow – pause. Bro, what is going on, bro? I'm tripping. But the defense should take care of Baker Mayfield tonight, man, because this – yeah, he's – don't get me wrong. Baker, he – you know, he, he's still a player, but we got too many dogs on the other side of that. On the other side of that line, so we should take care of business, man. Um, I think the Eagles get it done. We go three and zero. We sit at the top of the NFC East. Hopefully, after this game's over, um, and then we'd be like one of the three remaining teams that's like uh, undefeated. So, and I really don't care about an undefeated season, bro. I really just want to get back to the to the to the to the bowl, man. So get back to the bowl, win it this time, then go back, repeat the cycle. Tom Brady, you feel me? If we don't get seven, hey, maybe we get three. I don't know. But who's to say we don't? So, but yeah, man. But I just want to say, uh, before I know, before I say that, am I missing anything else before the Eagles? I don't think so. So, yeah, man. But I just want to say it's been two months, man. Two months of the podcast. Uh, and I'm loving it. That's great. I'm probably like top of the year. You're probably going to see some different stuff because like, this is like my spare room that we got. So I'm probably going to do something to it. Maybe make it a little bit more, you know, nicer looking, give it a better mood, better feeling in here. And, um, you know, just, you just, just making this, I'm trying to make this thing better. I'm trying to make it, you know, as good as possible. So, but that takes steps, takes time, you know, one step at a time. Never rush it. See, I'm giving you life lessons here, man. Never rush it, man. Take your time. Go with the flow. You know, my name is now. I'm named after the river, I guess. So, who knows? But, yeah, man. So, just, you know, go with the flow. So, I'm going to take my time. Get a custom area thing. Get some, you know, some sound effects. Maybe a, a soundboard. I don't know what it's, I guess that's what it's called. That they use for the, with the, with the little, you hit the button and all the, the noise go off. So, I might get one of them jaws. But, yeah, man. We just going, you know, we're we going to keep it lit, man. We're going to keep it lit. Like a, like a light around this joint. You feel me? So, it's not from No Cut Sports Podcast, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Please keep tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let you already know, man. Let's go birds. Oh, before I even. Okay, before before I even. All right. I love being an Eagles fan because I'm at Chick-fil-A. Shout out to the Cowboys. I'm at Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the drive-thru. My man don't even, my man don't even say good morning, good day. He just say. I like this sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's my man, my man. You already know. He said, go birds. <laughs> so you already know. Go birds. This is now from the No Cut Sports Podcast. I'm a holler at y'all, man.